Sherry was not quite as, um, um, what would you call it, method or, or I, I don't want to say that Tyne was method because I don't really know if that's her method, but just as a way of describing, you know, Tyne was extremely um, uh, invested in every single thing that was going on with her character. And Sharon, uh, although I, I obviously Sharon cared deeply about it and was very, uh, is a wonderful actress, she had a different style from Tyne. And Sharon was more able to walk away at the end of a day or an episode or whatever and not carry everything with her in the same um, sort of you know, overbearing depth that, that time did. They had very different styles, which I actually think was great for the show, the fact that they had very different styles, you know. Um, Tyne was extremely demanding of the writers, which was fabulous. Uh, Tyne made up this saying, deeper, fuller, richer, better. And there was never a table read where, you know, somebody didn't say, deeper, fuller, richer, better. I mean, that was always her, whenever she asked for something, whenever she had a complaint, whenever she wanted to talk about something, it was never about wanting more lines or wanting, it was always about making the episode better. You know, her, her method of acting was, if the piece is good, I'm good. You know, and, and everybody, although sometimes it was painful, everybody really appreciated that. And it was unusual at that time, I don't really know what it, whether it is today, but it was unusual at that time to have table readings for dramatic shows. Only comedies used to do that. And we would have a table reading every episode. And um, we would normally do it at lunchtime. Uh, whatever time lunch happened to be, you know, uh, on that shoot day. And all the actors, whether they were working that day or not, would come in for the table read, which is also unusual.